Welcome back to the Shady Acres laundry room today. The reason we're in the laundry room is because it's dang cold outside and way too cold to be in the shop. About 29 degrees and I'm just not going out there. Luckily, Vivor contacted me and wanted to know would I like to try out their wood burning kit. And to be honest, I've been thinking about using a wood burner to burn my signature into the bottom of my, my balls for a very long time. I just didn't want to make the expenditure of the kits that I'd seen online, which are like 150 to $300 generally is what I've been looking at off and on over the years, and I just didn't want to make that investment. So when Vivor said, hey, would you like to try this? I said, yes, I would. And so they sent it to me, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. We are going to have a wood turning video tomorrow. Today's video is going to be very short, but let's take a look at what we get with the Vivor wood turning kit. We get the main unit. It has a power switch and a temperature control knob on it. It has two ports for connecting two different wood burning hand pieces. This one uses the wire type tips on it and this one uses solid tips. It comes with 24 different tips for the wire burner and six including the tip that's on here for the solid burner. It comes with a little set of tweezers, a little craft knife, a screwdriver, and four of these little plywood blocks to uh, test your writing on or whatever it is you're going to do. To be honest, I'm only interested for my purposes in signing my bowl. So this is the one I'll be using today. But certainly, you know, a lot of people do wood burning other than signing a bowl. You can do all sorts of artwork, shading, things like that. I'm just not into that. I just wanted something to burn my signature on the bottom of my bowls. I believe, you know, people say, Phil, you're an artist. Well, I, I don't believe I'm an artist, but let's just believe that for a second. Uh, I, I believe that if an artist creates something he or she should sign it with their own hand not with a machine of course you can use a laser to burn on a bowl or whatever else you're making and, and that's fine for a graphic or a logo something like that but for your signature I think I think you should use your hand for a signature I think it should be you writing it. I, I know I'd be uh, terribly disappointed if I bought something that I thought was, thought was signed by the artist only to find out a machine did it. I, I wouldn't care for that at all. Now this review is going to have some good and some bad in it. Let's, ta let's tackle the bad first. It comes with a metal holder. This one's plastic. I don't know why. I was digging on the fact that it's metal and I was sad that this was plastic. It calls them out as being sturdy. Well, they they might be sturdy as far as holding the pen in place, but the you know they're not not what I'd call sturdy. They just slide all over the place. So that's disappointing. The way you change tips on this, there's a screw on each side here, and they provide a little screwdriver. So you just loosen these two screws, pull it out, stick in another one, tighten the screws back up. It just takes less than a minute to do that. What you have to know is what these tips do, because the, the manual doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you what each tip is for. It does tell you how, how to do what I just showed you, changing the tips. It shows you that. So that's really the only bad, the fact that these kind of slide around. I guess you could put, you know, you could put little rubber feet under there and they wouldn't slide around. Not that big a deal for the price of this. And the price of this, I'll just tell you right up front, I think it was $65, $66, something like that, which is really cheap for what I've seen online. The good ones are way more than that, two, three, four hundred dollars This is fantastic. Uh, you just turn it on and the temperature comes up like that. I mean, it's quick. It is quick. Within five seconds, that tip is hot. And if you adjust the temperature, it just takes a few seconds for it to get to that temperature. I mean, it's so fast that you almost don't see it. I've been testing it with just my signature. That's pretty much all I did. Drew a couple little doodles, but not much. What you see here, the top three lines were done with uh, what's called a ballpoint. This is the largest ballpoint. I didn't use the largest one. I used the medium one. That's the largest one. I use the medium and that's what these top three lines are as medium. Then I switch to what some places call a signature tip, which is basically just kind of a, a U, U shape. And there's, there's two or three different sizes of these in here. 
So I tried that. Well, the problem with this one, it hangs up on the grain. I used that on this tip, this signature right here. You can see it's much darker. It got hotter because it's just a thin wire. It's not a ball. So I think the ball for me is the way to go. So then I switched to the smallest ball. There's three sizes of balls. The rest of these signatures here are all the small tip. I think that's, if I was going to use this for signing my bowls, that would be what I would use, would be the smallest. And you can feel it. It actually makes an indentation in the wood. So let's see it in action. Like I say, you just push this button, comes right up to whatever temperature you set it. This is Celsius. In the manual here, it tells you that between 250 and 350 is about right for wood burning. I found that not to be quite true which is why I have it up here at 428. So it's hot, it's it's ready to go. Let's burn something. So this is, again, this is the smallest ball tip. Well, that does not look so good, does it? Try it again. I do know from reading that you can't write as fast with this or any wood burner as you can with a pen. So it's a matter of getting used to what you need to do. So that's a little bit better. And again, it depends on the wood. Totally depends on the wood. I'm guessing this is some kind of Luan, Luan plywood. I'll try it one more time. Yeah, see, even the ball hangs up on the grain of the wood a little bit. I think I might have had the better side of this wood for these other signatures that I did, because I'm having a hard time on the back side of this one. If I was an, art, an artist, I'd draw you a picture, but I'm just not. Like I say, this is the only reason I would want one of these. And clearly I'm not an expert at this. I think this is probably the first time in my life I've actually used a wood burner. I've used soldering irons and tried to burn wood with them. Maybe we've all tried that. I don't know. They're, they're just too bulky. Uh, this That's a good thing about this. This is something I really wondered about. I've got quite a bit of arthritis in my hands and it's hard to hold a lot of things and I've found it's harder and harder to sign my name. Uh, I was afraid this was going to be too bulky and uncomfortable. It's not. It's not uncomfortable at all. And I don't, that's how I sign in ink anyway. I, I'm quite careful. I quit doing it on camera, but I used to do it on camera. And, and it's just like this. It's just like this. Just very slow, very deliberate. Don't want to make a mistake. Well, this is about the most boring video you've ever seen. How many times can a guy sign his name? Well, I just wanted to give you an idea of what it's like, what I wanted it for. I think the price is right. I think if you are anyone but me, you can probably do a pretty nice job with this. It really comes with everything you need. It's a great little unit. The quality of the cords seem good. The, the hand units are easy to hold. They seem solid. It's got plenty of power. It's immediate. I don't, I don't know what a more expensive one could do for you. There you have it. Vivor Pyrograph Machine. I think it's supposed to be Pyrography Machine. $65, $66, whatever I said, something like that. A really good price, really complete unit. I'll put a link down in the description. They sell off of Amazon. It comes to you within a few days. They're in stock now. Take a look at what this can do for you. There's lots of nice graphics online and whatnot. So I hope that was of some interest to you. New wood turning video tomorrow. I hope to see you then. So for now, this is Phil, Shady Acres Woodshop, signing off.